This presentation is about the reactions of acids with metals. Now hopefully, by the end of this presentation, you should be able to state the general formula for reacting metals with acids. You should be able to write specific formula for the reactions of metals with acids relating to the acid used. So, first of all, the general equation for when you add a metal to an acid. Regardless of the metal or the acid used, the products are salt and hydrogen. Now in chemistry, a salt refers to any compound where a metal is joined to a non-metal element. So this covers a huge range of different chemicals. So a salt is not just the stuff you put on your chips. That is just one example of a range of different compounds. So what does that mean with real chemicals? Well, here's three examples. So we're reacting three different types of metal with just an acid. Now the first one, if we react magnesium with an acid, you get what's called a magnesium salt. So the magnesium, the metal, is joined to something else, which would be a non-metal. Therefore you get a magnesium salt. You'll notice hydrogen gas is also produced. This is produced in any reaction where a metal is reacted with an acid regardless of which metal it is or which acid it is. Second one, I've just put in zinc instead of magnesium, so you get zinc plus acid makes zinc salt and hydrogen. And the third one just follows the same trend, aluminium plus acid makes aluminium salt and hydrogen. So, Here's the higher level stuff. You should be able to, to predict the name of the salt if you know which metal and which acid are used. Now how do you know this? Well specific acids make specific salts. So if you use hydrochloric acid, you will get chlorides formed. If you use sulfuric acid, you get sulfates formed. And let's see how many people know what you get if you use nitric acid. I reckon quite a few of you will have guessed that you get nitrates formed. So again, what does this look like if we use actual chemicals? Well first of all let's have a look if we use hydrochloric acid and I'm going to use the three same examples from before. So for instance if you react magnesium with hydrochloric acid we've already seen you get magnesium salt now because you've used hydrochloric acid you get magnesium chloride also, don't forget that you get hydrogen formed. Quite a few people, when they're writing these reactions, they're able to work out which salt is formed, but they always forget to put the hydrogen, and hydrogen is always formed. Okay, so the second example, zinc plus hydrochloric acid. Because you're using hydrochloric acid, you get a chloride formed. And because you used zinc metal, the salt is zinc chloride. And the third one, when you react aluminium with hydrochloric acid, you get aluminium chloride and then plus hydrogen. So, same pattern if you use sulfuric acid, except instead of a chloride, you get a sulfate. So magnesium plus sulfuric acid, you get magnesium sulfate plus hydrogen. The second one, it's simply zinc rather than magnesium. 
So you, you use zinc originally, and you get a zinc sulfate formed. And then if you use aluminium, you get an aluminium sulfate formed. So you can see, you can easily predict the products of this type of reaction if you know which acid and which metal. And just be aware that this this formula applies to almost all metals. So the third one, we're using nitric acid now, and when you use nitric acid, you get nitrate salts. So magnesium plus nitric acid makes magnesium nitrate plus hydrogen. Zinc plus nitric acid makes zinc nitrate plus hydrogen. Aluminium plus, plus nitric acid makes aluminium nitrate plus hydrogen. So, quite a brief presentation this one. Hopefully, you should now be able to state the general formula for reacting metals with acids. And depending on which acid you used, you should be able to write specific formula giving the specific chemicals for reacting metals with acids. So thank you for watching this presentation. Please remember to fill in your homework sheet and bring it to the appropriate lesson.